Yo, what's up guys? How's it going? It's Britt here. Uh, I have some exciting news. I just got back from the Inside Outside Retreat saxophone camp. It was incredible, sax in the woods. Uh, but this camp is put on by Victor Wooten. Um, thank you, Victor, for hosting this incredible camp, uh, creating such a beautiful thing. Um, a lot of people were asking me, you know, what did I learn out at the camp? You know, what was it all about? Um, for those of you who do not know, the camp is located in only Tennessee, which is pretty cool, about an hour out from Nashville. Um, and it was an incredible experience. What I learned first and foremost is how to connect with nature. Um, as some people ask me, man, you know, I'm just, I'm trying to find, you know, my voice. I'm trying to lock in. I'm trying to figure out who I am as a musician. And this is true for everybody, whether you play saxophone, guitar, uh, piano, drums, whatever it is that you have a passion for in music, how do you lock in and find your inner voice? Um, and one of the very, very cool things I learned, and this is all credits to Mr. Bob Hemminger, is to really connect inside, connect with your inner self and connect with nature. Nature and music are one and the same. You can't have one without the other. Um, you got to find you and you got to find that nature. So I challenge you all, go out, spend time in nature, whether it's a park nearby, a um, nature park, you could go to a lake, an ocean, wherever you can be in nature. Maybe it's just in your backyard or in the front yard, wherever. Connect with nature and listen. Listen. Just be in it. Listen. Slow down and listen. Um, I learned a lot of great things at this camp. Um, you know, I, uh, of course, there were a ton of saxophonists. Oh my gosh, there were like 65 plus saxophone players there. Whew, incredible talent. I was blown away. I was like, oh my God, wow, these people are so talented. And they truly were gifts. You know, they were beautiful people. Um, and I said, wow, I have a lot to learn from them. But I also have a lot that I can teach as well. Um, and for me, um, it's my heart. You know, I play from my heart. You know, I've been told, oh, you have so much soul when you play. I just, I just feel this, this connection. And so, you know, I want to talk to you today about how to lock into you. Um, there's a ton of theory out there, a ton of theory books. Uh, Jeff Coffin stopped by. He taught so many great things, you know, how to break things down. Uh, Mr. Rob Reynolds, incredible guy. I mean, this guy knows theory front and back. Um, uh, Bob Francesini, another great guy. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. <laughs> Very hard to pronounce. But, um, you know, we need theory, but we also need music. So, hmm, which one comes first? Um, I sat down and I was thinking, oh man, I need to go back to school for a master's degree in music because maybe I miss so much. What am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? Bob Hemminger. <laughs> What am I missing? Uh, but you can find music. Of course, you need theory, but get that stuff along the way. You got to listen. You got to feel it. You got to hear it. It has to be natural. So how do you find your inner voice? Connect with nature. Be natural because music is natural. In order to lock into that naturalness, of course, you have to put in the time. You have to shed. Oh, what do you practice? Where do you start? What do you work on? Hmm. All great questions. All questions that I had before I went to the inside outside retreat so here's what I learned my takeaways uh, first things first um, ask yourself what am I missing okay don't pick up your horn or your keys or whatever instrument you play and just start doodling on the things that you already know just stop you're wasting your time you won't grow from that you just keep playing the same thing the same thing wondering why why aren't I getting better got to do different things. Um, but where do you start? Uh, thanks to Bob Reynolds, he has a method and he causes the 60 BPMs. So turn on your metronome, put it on 60 and practice extremely slowly and practice something that uh, you know you can't do well. How do you know what you can't do well? Okay. Do you know all your augmented triads? Just go through them. Clean even to a groove and find your mistake once you find your mistake you know what you need to practice that's what you need to focus on um, if you know you are uh, 
trying to get, let's say, you know, D minor triad. Oh, how do I get the D minor triad? Hmm, is that it? Figure it out. Um, another also great thing to do is to, if you don't have it already, let's say you play saxophone, keyboard, use the keyboard. Uh, I went to school for music and obviously we use a lot of piano because it really just helps lay things out. So you want to take everything to the root. Guitar players, if that's easier for you, that's great too. Uh, take it from the basics. Go slow. Go slow. Did I mention? Go slow. Uh, for horn players, it's really important before anything is to find your tone, your sound. How do you get the sounds you want? Um, because if we don't hear what we're trying to hear, it could deter us from practicing and wanting to get better. Because we're so frustrated, so focused on trying to get it out, oh, it just won't come out. And I just don't have the time to practice. I have to practice for 18 hours a day. No, you don't. Um, find one thing at a time and just focus. Focus on that. You know, uh, whether it's just taking, you know, your neck and your mouthpiece take my neck, my mouthpiece, and I'm just going to blow, just going to put the mouthpiece in my mouth, okay, what did that sound like, did I hit it directly, is my read on there correctly, my ligature, do I need to adjust anything, nine times out of ten, I probably just need to breathe better, try it again. mouthpiece, uh, what we call long tones. Obviously you will slow it down uh, and focus on the sound. What do you hear with that sound? Is it wavering? Are you attacking it? Are you putting a huh before you play the note? Um, is it sustained by air or are you just breathing from your lungs and not your diaphragm? Listen to those things and just keep going. Maybe it's 20 seconds not 20 seconds, more than 20 seconds, but 20 minutes a day. If that's all you can dedicate to, then make those 20 minutes count. You know, um, it could be just 20 minutes blowing to your neck. Uh, for those of you who are on the go, really busy, maybe you have another career, a family that takes a lot of time, commit yourself to a little, little, little task every day, and you'll see a huge difference. Better than feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm psyching myself out. I don't have four hours to practice. Ah, uh, I gotta pull everything out. I gotta pull the horn out. Where do I start? I'm gonna diddle here. And I'm wasting hours of practicing and I'm not being effective. So to be effective, pick one thing that you're missing, focus on that. And then each day, add something. Focus on another thing until you get stronger. And using this method, you'll get you'll get far really quickly. You'll be surprised how fast you can advance. Um, highly, highly recommend it. So, anywho, that was a combination of what I learned at the Inside Out Saxophone Retreat. And um, I am so excited that I, that I visited. I have some more videos coming up, um, specifically dedicated to Mr. Bob Francesini who talked about the triad. Breaking it down, very, very simple to the triad. So come back for the next one. Thanks.